In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import and place IDML documents in Affinity Publisher 2 for iPad. We're going to look at substituting missing fonts as well as relinking resources. So to begin with, I'm going to open an IDML document. We'll choose Open and we'll locate our IDML. When first opening the file, we're prompted by a missing resources notification. We'll choose Yes to relink the missing files. I'll then locate my files, and the first file we're looking for is Shutterstock 1781009285. I'll select the file. Publisher will then automatically relink any missing files from the same folder location. And we can see that it's brought all of the IDML document through. When first importing a document into Affinity Publisher, we start off in construction mode, which means our grids, guides, and margins are all visible. We can switch to a preview mode by using this option here, and this allows us to isolate the design. Next, let's take a look at missing fonts. We'll access the font manager, and we can see that the document uses a number of fonts that aren't installed on this iPad. These fonts are represented as missing by the question mark. The font manager allows us to substitute these fonts with a replacement. If I select the missing font, I can nominate a font substitution. With my missing font substituted and my resources linked, I'll now close down this document and move on to a slightly more complex example. We'll once again choose to open an IDML, locate my document, and I'll choose to import this fashion magazine template. Notice again that several items are missing. We'll once again choose to relink them, and we'll locate the missing items. We're looking for portrait 3083402. I'll select the missing resource, and it may be the case, depending on how spread out the original resources were, certain images or objects were saved in various locations. In this case, the barcode was saved in a completely different folder from the rest of the resources. We'll locate the barcode by simply tapping the barcode PNG file. Finally, there may be certain scenarios where resources are no longer available. These resources in question were no longer used in the final design, but were still linked or referenced to the original file. Now they were not included in the original template download, so we can't locate them, which means all we have to do is tap cancel. An Affinity Publisher will locate the rest of the missing linked resources and render the final document. We're then prompted with an image policy notification asking whether we'd like to link our images to reduce our document file size. For the moment, we'll choose no. And there we go. We can see once again, that the entire IDML document has been brought through into Publisher iPad. If we go to our resource manager on the right hand side, we can see that all of our images have been populated from the one single folder. As a final example, we'll try out the new auto flow feature with an IDML example. To do so, we'll open a new document and we'll make this A4 and we'll set it to landscape. I'll go ahead and draw a new picture frame and then choose to place an image using the Place Images tool. I'll choose to place an image from File and I'll once again go and locate my IDML. I'll then select the document, expand the file and select a range of pages. Then I'll simply single tap on the first available picture frame which we created earlier. And there we go. That was a quick look at how to place, import, and autoflow IDMLs in Affinity Publisher 2 for iPad. Thank you for watching.